G'day. My name's Nathan Linzel, and welcome to episode number 11 of The Fine Art of Destruction. So, with today's pour, today's pour is a bit of a special one for me and my family. When this actually premieres, it will be the 15th of May here in Australia, which is my brother's birthday. And as a lot of you out there know, we actually lost him. Um, he was, he was taken away from us in such a unfair, evil way. Um, yeah, it, it's a hard, it's a hard pill to swallow, that's for sure. Um, and I thought, what better way to do today's episode and do a pour for him. Um, anyone that knows Jeff knows that 90% of the time he was wearing Chicago Bulls. Um, Yeah, you go through like the wall of photos of him and yeah, 90% of the photos he's wearing a Chicago Bulls jersey or a singlet or something like that. So yeah, so I thought today um, I'm going to do a pour using red, white and black. Chicago Bulls colours. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so I've gone through my wall of paint and all my pigments and I've got out all my reds, um, and yeah, I'm gonna, gonna do a pour for Jeff. I'm sorry that I'm not my, my bubbly, excited self today, but it's a special one, so I will try to, um, I guess, contain myself <laughs> while I'm doing this. Um, but just know, and, and I ask that throughout the pour, you guys show you some support. Um, I just want to say that, um, domestic violence is something that the world struggles with. Um, so if you know someone that's trapped in a, an abusive relationship, or you're trapped in an abusive relationship, please find help or ask for help. All right, sorry guys. Um, yeah. Well, now that I've 
told you what I'm doing today. We'll head over to the table. I'm sorry. We'll head over to the table. I'll go through all the colours that I'm using. I'll try to contain myself. And yeah, we'll get pouring. Thanks, guys. Alrighty then. So here's all the products that we've got today. And as you can see, there's a lot of red going on. I basically went through all my paints and pigments and pulled out all the reds that I had. Well, all except for these two from El Rado de Polo. As you can see, the El Rado de Polo warm red is exactly the same color as the global warm red. And as is the cool red is the same as the cool red just here. So I didn't see any point in doubling up on this, the exact same colors, basically. So. The other colours that we've got are, from Montmartre, we've got Brilliant Red. Global, we've got Warm Red. Global, we've got Cool Red. In the pigments, we've got Health of Mind Art, Blood Red. TLP, or this little piggy, Maraschino. TLP, Inferno. And in the white, we've got Health of Mind Art, Pearl White. And this one here from Pearl X is actually a combination of both red and white. So it's called an interference red. So what that means is on some angles, it'll look like it's white and on other angles, it'll look like it's red. Down the front here, we've got Oxide Black from Amsterdam and that's gonna be my cell activator. That's the color I'm using for my cell activator. The base paint that I'm using is from British Paints and it's the exterior um, black. Uh, so that'll be my base paint. Um, and the pigments and also the paints have been mixed with um, Torben's Easy Coat Neutral and also Joe Sonia Gloss Varnish. Now, the recipe that I'm using is actually um, the Shelley Art recipe. So again, I can't give you the, re the, um, the ratio of what I've used for them. All I can say is the ratio for the paint versus the ratio for the pigments is slightly different. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna let you know on that. The cell activator, um, the oxide black down the front, has been mixed four to one with the Australian Floetrol. So that's four parts Floetrol to one part Amsterdam Oxide Black. Um, I've got my torch here to basically get rid of any of the air bubbles. Um, but yeah, now that I've um, let you know what's going on here, we'll clear this off. We'll put a canvas on. I'm using a 20 by 20 inch canvas. And yeah, we'll get started. Thanks guys. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a base coat of black over here. And just got my little ladle here. And don't worry, I actually bought this ladle specifically for this. <laughs>
by doing that I've pretty much saved about 250 mils of black paint and that's that's a massive benefit of, of using a, a silicon mat um, you can actually basically save a lot of paint by sort of scraping it all in and then putting it back in your container before you seal it up so there you go 250 mils just saved <laughs> Sometimes what it's a good idea to do, if you see a lot of bubbles in your actual paint before you actually start pouring, just pop them. Saves the bubbles actually going onto your canvas. So when you're doing a bloom technique, the best thing to do is layer your paints and pigments in an order where you've basically got your paint, then a pigment, pigment, paint, pigment, pigment, paint. Sort of like you're sandwiching your pigments in between um, your paints, your tube paints. Alrighty, so what we've actually got here is global cool red which is the paint then I've got two pigments which is health of mine blood red health of mine pearl red oh sorry pearl white then a tube paint which is global warm red then I've got um, a pigment 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 which is TLP maraschino um, pearl X interference red and then TLP inferno and then finishing off with um, Montmartre uh, Brilliant Red. Alrighty. But actually, what I might, I might actually do, I'm just going to swap these two colours around. Because I actually want the, the, the cool red, the, um, the global on top. Alrighty. Alrighty then, so let's start layering the paint and... Um, Wish me luck, guys. Look, <laughs> look at my my hands already. They're already disgusting. You. <laughs>
I'm just seeing which way I'm just going to swipe it, so I might swipe it down that way. Might do one that way and one that way. What do you reckon? Shit. Make sure you wipe your pellet knife off after every swipe. And what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to touch up a little bit of these. Put some more cell activator on. What I might just do, I might just blow a little bit on some of the bits that didn't sort of sell up.
Now I'm actually just going to blow a little bit just on here just so there's not that straight line. I'm, I'm just going to blow ever so softly. Just so there's not that sharp line there. Alrighty, now let's give this bad boy a spin. Alrighty, wow, this is looking pretty cool, but what I'm actually just going to do, I'm just going to tilt it a little bit, even though I've spun it, I'm just, I just want to tilt it down that way a little bit. As you can see there, the, 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 the weight of the paint is just there, so it's sort of moving down. I just want to get rid of that bit down the bottom just there. 
So I've moved the weight of the paint back in the middle. Now I'm just letting it sort of flow down there. Now I just want to try to move the weight of the paint just so it breaks up this straight line just here. Now I'm just going to try to get rid of this bottom corner. I actually do want to keep the negative space up here because I really like the look of it, but I just want to get that black corner off. So once when once the paint gets down to that bottom corner, then I'm going to stop stop tilting.
<laughs> wow, 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 wow. Holy moly, moly, holy. Holy crap! <laughs> I am absolutely loving this. Oh my god. When I show you the, the um the close-up result of these of these edges, you'll understand why I wanted this um, negative space on the edge because the edges are absolutely insane. Alrighty, now re remember, wipe your bottom. <laughs> I'll just drip this over the corner. I'm just dripping it over the corner just to make sure that it actually got covered. I actually don't want to touch this corner because this corner down here is amazing. Now, the reason why I say to, to wipe your bottom, apart from the stinky bum thing, <laughs> um, if you don't wipe the edges, like the bottom of the paint coming off, it'll actually continue to pull, pull along and you'll actually lose all of what you've done up the top. So yeah, so there's methods of the madness of wiping your bum. <laughs> I love this. This is sick. You. Oh wow. Let me let me get you down, and I'll show you these edges that I'm talking about. Oh wow. Like, look at this. How sick is that? And here's the negative space that I was talking about with these edges. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Look at that! That is sick. Wow. I love that corner. That is so cool. Look at all this, all that lacing and all the cells. There's way more lacing than there is cells, but oh man, I love that.
Wow. I love this. All right, guys. So, as as you know, this was a birthday pour for my brother, and I'm sure he would have really loved this. So, happy birthday, Jeff. This is for you. All right, guys. Um, if you like what you saw here today. Um, I'd, I'd love it if you give us a, a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, um, hit the subscribe button and hit, and hit the little dark bell and that'll notify you when um, I upload new videos like this. Um, and if you think any of your friends would enjoy seeing what I do, please pass it on to them. Uh, that would mean a lot to me. So, yeah, I'd just like to thank you for coming along on this sort of birthday journey for my brother with me and yeah I tell you what guys I'm I'm over the moon with how this turned out so yeah <laughs> you all right guys once again thank you for joining me on this episode this is the fine art of distraction